All right, so we're on the final challenge. Woohoo! And, oh no, <laughs> we only get one star. And this is another great example where we can use wishful thinking. I really wish that we had a line right here, but let's play the exponential game. Let's think, how can we bend an exponential and flatten it out so that we capture all of these stars in a single slide? And in fact, that's my challenge to you in general. In all of the solutions that we've discussed and hints that we've gone through, I bet you can find an easier way or quicker way to get past these challenges. I bet in a situation like this, where I have two slides, you might be able to come up with one. Although it is really fun to see this happen because I feel like I'm on some kind of wild roller coaster where there's a middle part missing and sometimes the marbles aren't so lucky and they don't all make it. I don't know if you noticed in the last one, one of the marbles didn't quite make it. There's some randomness in there in the way the marbles distribute. But you can get this. How? Start with your parent function, y equals 2 to the x. Think about how to make, how to change or transform this function to turn it into the other ones you see here. I realize when I compare this 2 to the x function that both of these slides are decay functions. I want to reflect it over the y-axis, put a negative sign in there, and now I'm on my way. I can take that and transform it. I can take it, slide it up and over to the right, and I get this slide. I just need to cut the domain at 8. And to get this one, I can just slide to the right a bunch and cut the domain between 20 and, what is that, 14. So you might write some kind of double, um, some kind of double, some kind of domain inequality, right? If you want to cut it between, I'll just show you this negative 14 and 18, right? Not negative 14, 18, 14 and 18. You write an inequality like this and you get that little chunk, but it's not going to work unless you move it to the right spot if you translate it over. So before you cut that domain restriction, it might be easier to slide it where you want it. And again, this is a solution with two slides, but maybe you have another way of doing it. I've seen this solved with one slide. So there's lots of room for creativity in here, and like in any good problem, there's more than one way to solve it. All right, I hope you enjoy this activity.